Hi everyone, it is Tuesday the 2nd of June and it is 9.30 in the morning. And I'm in my shed down at Mum's because I'm dog sitting for them while they're out for a few hours. So, what I thought I'd do, bring the camera down, as you can see, and uh, show you some, I'll show you my stepdad's railway room and show you progress on the Mini and some bikes that I've not actually shown you on the channel yet because I've pretty much been sitting down here and I don't really take bikes up into the flat anymore because well I don't have any reason to I've got everything set up down here to tinker right so I thought I would start we will just go through my pile of vintage bikes here this isn't all of them this is pretty much the pile of bikes I want to get restored at some point so, on the top here we have a Triumph, those are the parts to my moped getting in the bloody way. So I've got my Triumph, believe it or not, it's been sitting so the tyres are flat, I know the tyres hold air, because I've actually had them pumped up but it's been sitting in the shed for so long, they've gone flat again. Um, but yeah, if I pump the tyres up, everything works on it. The brakes work, brakes work great actually, the gears work. That is a lot newer than the bike so I wouldn't mind changing that at some point. It's pretty much the same on this one. This one's got a newer lever than the actual bike. Uh, so I've got my Triumph with old Dynamo Alliance with the big switch on the top there. I believe, if I remember rightly, you can open this one up and put, well, you used to be able to put a 4.5 volt battery in it, but you can't get them anymore. Uh, it's got the rear. They work as well, believe it or not. Although, that is kind of cheating because I have actually put new wires on. But yeah, they do work. The dynamo and the lights are original. I've just rewired them. I was bored one day, so. Below that is my Ellswick with a <laughs> horn on it. I haven't ridden that in ages. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if the tyres are flat on that. Oop, near enough. Um, I've actually had that a few years now. And everything, as far as I know, is still working on it. It was in second gear for some reason. Nice white saddle. And under that, which is ever so slightly taller, well the seat is up a little bit, but the frames look exactly the same size. Well no, the frame is a smidge taller, or it could be because these are leaning, I don't know. I don't think there's a lot of difference anyway. But that's my rally, that I picked up with a job lot of bikes I bought. And somewhere on that frame, you can't see it, the camera's washing it out. Well, that's better, it's got rally written on the frame. Don't know how old that is because I can't remember where the rear wheel hub is because I've dismantled the rear wheel I had a dyno hub rear wheel but the gears were shot so it hasn't got the correct back wheel in it I just stuck a three speed wheel in it so I can move it around uh, I do believe the parts for that, I've got the spokes up there actually and the parts up there or some parts in that blue tub there's a piece of my moped laying on top as well. Um, there's the wheel rim. Right, what have we got else? Oh, that's got the old battery holder for the dyno lights as well. And complete with dyno lights. Uh, I don't know if these are Miller or Sturmy Archer. I think they're Sturmy Archer because Miller usually have the symbol put on the top there. Look at this one, see? That's Miller. So yeah, I'm pretty certain these are Sturmy Archer lights. I don't know if they work. They didn't work before I took the rear hub off. I did spin the wheel by hand just to see. Anyway, right below that is a Hercules. Um, <laughs> I got it for free from just around the corner from here actually. And I've got two others with it. I think I actually broke the other two for parts. I can't remember. I can't even remember what the third one was to be honest. 
One of them was a ladies mountain bike and I'm pretty certain I did scrap that one. But I didn't realise until I bought this Hercules back here that I actually owned this one a few years ago. And I sold it. Someone wanted it as a project. I sold it as a project. And obviously they just give up and give it away again and I ended up picking it up. But like I said, I didn't notice until I got it here and I had it out in the garden there and I thought this bike looks hella familiar and I was looking through photos on Facebook and I thought oh yeah that's because I owned it <laughs> anyway the last one under there is my stepdad's Royal Enfield that hasn't been ridden in a few years either actually the last time I rode that the chain broke because they uh, these three speeds they very often have what they call a master link so they're not machined together as one where you would need a chain tool like what I've got hanging up here to split the chain you just pop the master link open and take the chain off well what had happened I'm guessing just through age and wear the um, pins that go through the chain I don't know if I've actually got any here to show you rather than try and explain it should have some somewhere, some spare links. Ah, here we go. Ah, I believe I've got the exact. See, got those two pins, and you got them little grooves on the end of these pins that the uh, little locking thing locks into. Well, what had happened, let me know until it all fell up bits, is that these notches had worn. And little grooves had actually worn and the clip had come off and there's also like a little backing plate thing that goes on before the clip here we go this little. so you put that through your chain you put that on and then you put the clip on and eventually that plate had fallen off as well and the chain just went ping <laughs> and when I'd looked because I did still have this but the other two bits had fallen off somewhere on my route and uh yeah, these are actually warm, but it's fixed now because I've put another link in it. And you can still buy them, actually, that old style of link. But I have got a few spare, at least. Yeah, so they're all restoration projects, but that's not all of my restoration projects. I swear I've got too many. I might have to let some go. I've actually got two down here. I've got Phillips. Uh, I think I paid like £10 for it as a restoration project. The wheels were knackered, but I managed to salvage quite a lot, believe it or not. Um, but I literally, I've taken it all down. I was going to shot or sandblast the frame and respray it and put it all back together and have a nice little custom built vintage bike, is what I was going to do with that one. And below that is an old rally frame, which I've had for a couple of years in here, and I still haven't got around to doing anything with that one either. But uh, the Phillips, like I said, was a complete bike when I got it. There's the forks. And basically, if we go back to this blue tub up the corner, all the parts are in there, plus a bunch of other vintage parts I've chucked in there as well. Now, I do hope the camera's done playing silly fuckers and shutting itself off. Anyway, pardon my French. I think we're done in the shed, that's all I want to show you down here. There's not really anything else of interest. Oh, hello. My air compressor's moved. My stepdad bought a bigger one for his workshop, so he gave me that one. So I've got a little five horsepower thing down here. And actually that reminds me, in my stepdad's shed I've got the little uh, sandblaster thing I bought from Lidl's as well. I'm going to go and get that. Uh, funky old electrics. Sprays, shitload of village tubes, that's about it. They're really that much interesting in here. That's a new addition. So we've got an electric mower here now. Uh, that's a restoration project. That one I might leave as is. That one I want to restore as well. So there's my three. Uh, that's a new one. I haven't shown you that one. It's Japanese apparently. International. Well, according to what I looked up, it's Japanese. Had the dynamo in the front light, I've just added the real one. 
and somehow it's being wheeled around the garden. It's got a flat tyre. Must have hit something. That's fine when I rode it down here. Uh, that is actually the only folder I've got. It's a Hawk cycle. And a rally. A rally what? Rally Sapphire. And I've got another two of these little shoppers at home. Back at the flat. Pile of wheels and shit. I've got to go back in the shed when I'm done. The scooter. With a happy Harry running around on it. There's a harvest spider from the looks of it. The mountain bike, I'd like to keep at the two. Full suspension mountain bikes, that is. That one, I sold this one, yeah. Over ten years ago, I think. I always told the lady I sold it to that if she ever wanted to sell it, I'll buy it back. And a few months ago, she contacted me and I bought it back, so... But it was in a very, very rough state. Those wheels aren't original, I've put those in myself. I actually quite like those. Uh, I'm just thinking of replacing that front gradient mech because it's not very good. But other than that, this is all in working order. I might put a brand new chain on it as well, come to think of it. And that means I've got another suspension bike that I don't need, so it's probably going to go up for sale. I would prefer to keep this one. There's the old BSI. There's a couple out front, but I'll go and get those in a bit. Right. So I'm going to leave the shed for a bit. Let's turn the lights off. One of the reasons I've actually emptied the shed is because I need to get to the tubs there. One, I want to see if I have got a front Dralium X spare. That will fit the Saracen. Two, Mum's got a full suspension bike. That I need to put a better seat on. And there was something else I wanted to fish out of here as well. I can't remember what it is. Oh, I may have found a better seat. Have I? No. Nope. I was going to try and find the best seat I could. And then put one of these, or give her one of these gel seat covers. Because I don't use them. Right. Onwards and upwards. Let's go have a look at the mini. Yeah, my stepdad got fed up with the petrol mower, so we went and bought an electric mower and strimmer. Ah, the Mini! No idea what that was. Currently tipped on its side. Oop. It, uh, it's getting there. Even got a brake pipe, sort of roughly lined, put in, lined in. Got a new set of wheels, better set of wheels coming for it, because we only had those three. Those three came with it. And a space saver. <laughs> and the two front ones were actually bolted on backwards. Neighbours. Yeah. Unfortunately, the welding is not brilliant. I've seen a lot worse though, to be honest. Look at that. Not bad. Like I said, I've seen a lot worse. That's all had a new plate in there. That's got to be finished. I've got two new of these sort of bracket pieces coming as well. That's the rear valance that he actually cut off. Because this has been replaced at some point. Look, there's the part sticker. <laughs> Someone had actually started to work on this. We were lucky that that box was solid. Uh, but anyway, this is all a new panel. That is all a new panel. Well, that's a new panel, just the front section. Sill is new, and that sill is new. Of course, at the front, that's new, that I might hit it, that's new, and that's new. And uh, 
Yeah, that spit roast has been very, very useful. You literally just take that pin out and you can rotate it into whatever position you want. Certainly makes working on the underside a lot easier. Just a crappy little welder. I do not recommend these. They're cheap and they're gasless. But that doesn't help when you're trying to weld. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. I don't think the welds took. Oh, it's also been under sealed as well, in case you're wondering. We've got a bit more under sealing to do. The welds are holding, look, that's not going to go anywhere. They just look shit. <laughs> Never mind. We want it to look good where we can see it, not where we can't see it. That's the way I look at it anyway. Just the inside, we're seeing a lot less daylight through the floors now. <laughs> well, we're only seeing daylight where we want to see daylight. Oh, that's got to be replaced as well, that cross member. We're still waiting for that to arrive. And just up there, you can see where it still needs some work. You can make some plates up to go in there. But, uh, other than that, it's all good. You can't even tell that this section and that section has been replaced, can you? Apart from that bit there. <laughs> I'll get filled over and made to look good. But, uh, yeah, it's getting there. I do believe... I do believe the latch fell off. That certainly made life easier as well. Just open the door and you've got a door full of tools. Right, switch, switch. Yeah. Right. Mini parts everywhere, including some new parts. A whole bunch of new parts there. All new shocks, new track rod end, uh, new gaiters for the drive shaft. I think my stepdad may have actually replaced them from the looks of it already. Yeah. No, they are here. Why you got new ones? Because these actually don't look that bad. But then again, I suppose as you got it off, you might as well replace them while it's off. Look at all the parts from the steering wheel, drive shafts, the engine is sitting there. That's got to be stripped down and rebuilt. Radiator. We don't know if that leaks. We've got some brake counter parts on there. Wheel hubs, everything is here basically. Shit ton of bits up here. And we got spare rev counter. Uh, two sets of tail lights actually came with this. So we've got this set, which has got the reverse light on it, and a pair. I'm guessing this is an older pair because that doesn't have the reverse light on it. Oh, I didn't realise he'd got this. These parts arrived. I found someone on um, Facebook that was selling a bunch of mini parts. and The dizzy here was one thing that we needed and there was something else. The grill. So, in theory, there should be a grill in here somewhere. Over the back there. <laughs> I can't get much closer. Oh, they're fucking over everything. Whoops. Pardon the French again. Yeah, there's the grill. That was a little bit bent, unfortunately, but my sandblaster was right up in that corner, and I think that could stay there for the time being. <laughs> Don't need it right this minute. Uh, the only part that was actually missing from the engine that I could see when I looked at it in the car was this. Oh, I don't think we've got an ignition coil either. And we need a starter solenoid. I've just remembered because when I took it off it all shattered in my hand. A load of bits of shit in here. We've got some spark plugs. The original spark plugs. They're the boot lid hinges for the replacement boot lid that we had to get. The fuse box, 
Wow. I'm not kidding, that is the fuse box for the whole car. Fuel tank we had to get. There's the replacement boot lid. What was it he got for free? Oh yeah, that was it. He got the uh, subframes, which are hiding underneath here. He got the um, rear subframe for free. It needed some patching done, but compared... <laughs> there's the rear subframe. But compared to the original one, that looked like Swiss cheese when we took it out of there. The odd little hole that needed a patch was uh, nothing. And the front subframe is under there. That was actually perfectly fine, thankfully. But yes, yeah, someone was giving away, give, giving away, giving away rather, doing a Scooby Doo impression there. The uh, rear subframe. I've actually been surprised. Wow. Those are the original chrome rings for the headlights. They look good. They look really, really good. My stepdad spent yesterday uh, polishing those up. Yes. They look like a valve of some sort. What's it got written on it? Oh. Petrol ring fuel saver. Made in Italy. Fuel pressure, ah, fuel pressure regulator. There we go. We have got the carburetor somewhere buried in here. It could actually be buried under that lot. That's the original insulation that came off the roof. It's the only bit that was salvageable, the headliner had gone. We've got a few bits hiding under there. We've got the clutch cover doicky there. I don't know what else. We've got the wiper motor and assembly there. That's the slave cylinders for the brake and clutch. That's the slave for the clutch, that one. And the other one's slave for the brakes. I know that because that's only got the one in and the one out. <clears throat> yeah, it won't be long before we can start reassembling it, I don't think. Uh, Pardon me. Can't find anything else. It's worth showing that. I think we're going to have to get a new pair of headlights. One, I don't know if they work. And two, the mirror has gone on one of them. I mean, this one looks all right. It's a bit ew at the back there, but nothing that you couldn't clean up and paint if you really wanted to. Not that you're going to see it in the car by the time it gets in, you know, mounted in the headlight bucket. Um, but these are sealed beam. You see, this actually doubles up as the bulb. This is the bulb, basically. We have got a Lucas one somewhere, but all the reflector has gone on it so we wouldn't be able to use that one anyway I just thought that would be better to get a pair so at least they matched anyway <clears throat> right onwards and upwards quite literally upwards because we'll go up them steps Been full of scrap metal that we've been reusing. It's one of the old inner wings. Oop, one of the seats. I have no idea why it's there. The pond. All the fishes are hiding. I'll go around the other side so we'll show it from the sun. Might be able to see better. There's a piggy! It all. You're not camera shy, are you? The other one is. Right. Well, we look in here, shall we? My stepdad's model railway layout. A bit bigger than mine. <laughs> He's got quite a bit of scenery done. I've got one of these. He's got another one of these somewhere. Oh, someone's broken in, look. The window's gone. Someone's broken into the pub. Yeah. And there's one of his class 37s. There's class 47. I'm 
I'm sure that's the same colours as mine. Although to me, I'm sure the green stripe is a slightly different colour. I'm going to have to really compare those. I think, oh, I just realised he's got a signal there. A little builder's yard put here. With a couple of husky vehicles and a matchbox one right in the middle. Which is looking rather dirty. A little pretend skip there as well. Wood, a little shed up the corner. That is all a work in progress. I'm presuming that's going to be a bridge across the back there. What a big farmhouse there and a little cottage. There's my uh, main line still sitting upside down. Try and get that to work. There's another class 47 in bits there because it's not working. He's got DCC on this one, whereas mine's just DC. There's another 47. That's a fairly recent purchase, buying all of these wagons with the boxes on. It's got DMU at the front here. Nice big train at the back there, look at that. I think there's seven coaches because he hasn't got the eighth one on at the minute. He's got this lovely Great Western on the front there. He's got this blue inner city here. That's an inner city I want to get hold of is this blue one. I've got the black and white one. The Swallow Livery as they call it, but not that one. Another nice loco behind there. I don't know what that one is. Oh, and there's another one behind me in the city I've just seen as well. I think. I believe this one is another one of those. And he's got a nice 08 there as well, with all the wasp livery on the back. And of course, up here, I told you I have the same inner city setup as I've now got. He's got three coaches plus the two parcels express coaches, which is what I want. I want to get at least one of these for mine. I'm having trouble finding one at the minute. Maybe I'm not Googling the right, or not Googling, eBaying the right search terms. Maybe I should put Parcels Express in the search rather than Mail. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I think two's going to be a bit much on mine. I'm going to try and get some more varied um, inner, city, in, inner, city, inner city coaches. How many has he got on this one? One. Two, three, four. And an old dining car at the front there that's actually older than the train itself. <laughs> well, it's based on an older coach than the rest. I mean, it may have been manufactured at the same time as the inner city, I don't know. I mean, it's meant for a steam loco, that tan and brown one, cream and brown. A couple of fire trucks this side. A little, oh, we haven't gone behind the door, have we? He's done quite a lot of scenery work behind here. He's got his two traction engines. A Land Rover. I actually picked that Land Rover up for him at a car boot sale. Way before I decided I was going to make one. And, uh, that's a tunnel. He's in the process of doing some scenery. This is more of a winter project, so it's probably going to sit like this until winter. No. <laughs> but it has got a radiator plumbed in. It is buried behind there. That just goes out that wall, underneath the decking, and then into the house. Very simple. Oh, I see bus bars. A uh, churchyard kit there. Good shed. It's a nice house. I wouldn't mind getting some of these uh, kits. Preferably because I'm lazy. Pre built like that. A railway hotel. Look, 
Does this station building look familiar? <laughs> I told you he had one as well. He's got all this. Um, no good, that's for an old one. That's one of those basically, but an old one. And he's got. Oh, it's not glued down, I thought it was. Nice platform going on as well. And yes, these street lights do work. I might actually be able to show you them. I think it's that one. Yep. Yeah. Flip that switch and Wait, come on. That's also powering the uh, points here. I'm not going to tinker with anything else. Oh, I don't want to break it. Bit of a mess in here though, isn't it? <laughs> He's got all sorts of spares. Got spare 37 in there. He's got a lot of 37s he have. <laughs> is that your Scotsman? Is playing Scotsman. I don't know where the tender is for it. He's got another 37 there. He's got a few of them. <laughs> I think that's a network around there. LMS guards van. Brake van. There we go. This is why he gave me his one, because he already had one. Yeah, other bits and bobs down there as well. A few network rail coaches. Well, I'm strangling myself with bloody cables. Get out of it. Right. I think, apart from bringing both my bikes in from the front, that is it. That's going to be Mum's bike, apparently. It's not a freebie I picked up. Renovated it. I actually stole the blue wheels from this one and put in my one. And Mum said she wanted this one, so I've got it up and running for her. She doesn't like the seat, and I don't blame her because it's not a very nice seat. Here as well. She could sit here for ages like this. Look at me, Peggy. <laughs> no. I can hear the alarms going off on the back from gas site. Must be doing an alarm te test. That's probably the postman bringing a parcel. Anyway, I'm going to pause you for a bit. I'll just go and bring the other two bikes in because I've got to do some work on one anyway. He's a noisy little bugger, that's always sitting up there. Anywho. Two more new bikes that have not appeared yet. Here's the uh, Rally Alpha Sport I keep talking about. Which is pretty much left how I bought it, apart from... I've added that. i added these. And the rack and change the tail light or oh, the headlight. Can't even remember what headlight was on it. Oh, and the wheels. 
I changed those only because I had odd wheels. I had a steel one in the rear and one of these alloy wheels and I'm pretty certain it was this one. No, nope, that's not that one. No, nope, that's a steel wheel, you idiot. <laughs> Might have been that one. One of these alloy wheels was in it. Of course the rims are a lot wider on these ones. Ah, there it is. That's the one that was in it. Yeah, so I changed those. And that actually rides beautifully. I really am enjoying that. Oh, the other thing I added was handlebar tape because I didn't actually have any. I just had a piece of uh, pipe insulation taped around that bit and then an ordinary mountain bike grip on this bit. Which worked. It just looked crap and I like resting my hands here when I'm riding. And that was bare metal. So I stuck those on. I haven't touched the seat or anything. I added the LED lights. I think I changed the dynamo as well, if I remember rightly. But that's about it. I had to get a brand, one brand new tar. It's the first time for years I've actually had to buy a brand new tar. All right, now the other one, the Rally Scorpio. That was a freebie, found abandoned in town in quite a state. I've had to replace the rear derailleur, the chain, the rear brake cable. I don't think I changed the front one, did I? No. Nope. Uh, and the pedals, because the pedals were crap as well. And straighten the back wheel, because that was buckled. Really could do with a new tyre on the back. It's looking a bit ropey in places. It's not the worst though. It is rideable as is. Good air in the tyres. Yeah, but because that rear derailleur got wrapped around the back wheel, well, not that one, the old one. Um, so you've got the original rally seat on it. Look. Had to uh, straighten the back wheel out as well. I've got a bit of wheel rub on the brake because this keeps sitting over there. It's got to come this way a bit. Oh well, it's working. Right, oh, that's what I've got to do. Don't worry if that made you dizzy, it made me dizzy as well, so... <laughs> now I've got to find them. Uh, ah, there they are. I was going to say, I moved everything around in here. I'm hoping I've got a bulb I need because we've got a brake light out on the van. I might just have to park here somewhere for a minute. Yeah, we've got a brake light out on the van. But I don't think I've got a twin filler. Ooh, hang on. I might actually have a twin film. Well, it's going to need a clean, but there's one. It looks like we've got a couple of reverse lights out as well. Oh, I could see another couple of twin filaments. For some reason, I had it stuck in my head that we didn't have it. I was hoping my stepdad's left the van unlocked, otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do this. Unless he's left the key here, of course. be one for one reverse light. I'm going to take my little red meter in here. It should be in here somewhere. Just so I can meter out the uh, it's a rubbish bag. Oh no, it's a very bad angle but I haven't got anywhere else to stick you for the time being. I need something to put you up on, don't I? Perhaps I should have uh, used my head and brought out the uh, tripod as well. Right. Well, for the time being at least, my meter is missing in action, but I do know where there's another one anyway. So 
another twig of filament. I'm going to take a few out just so I can, uh, just in case one doesn't work. Is that really good? Oh, it is good. No, it's got a bit of paint on that one. Some uh, orange coloured ones for turn signals. If you got the clear turn signals, that is. Uh, I think those three twin filament ones are the only ones I've got. How about that for an old headlight bulb? I don't get one like that anymore. Right, so I'll do a job for it. Jump there, I might spit my words out. A job to do in a little while. Let's put those back in there and fix the lid back down so they don't go everywhere. And stick them back over here. I think something has fallen off the trees. But that's twice I've been in here and twice it's been a loud crack. Right, I've got plenty to do here while I'm sitting around anyway. I've got a toolbox here that I need to sort out and tools to put back up here. Such as my long nose pliers. I think I just put those in the wrong ones. Oh, bollocks. I forgot to put a couple of bulbs back. A tiny little spider running across the oh, pardon me. Across my bench. Big adjustable. I've got another uh, uh, chain split tool there. I've got four of them up there in total. Hex key, that goes there. Hex key, that goes there. Oh, uh, what else have I got hiding? That's not mine. I don't know why that is in here, but that is not mine. You've got tools laying over here. Right. And then bottom bracket extractor. I've got two more up there, and even they're covered in bloody cobwebs. Phillips screwdriver. I might actually get all my screwdrivers together and just have a quick sort through of them. What's that? It's a 10 mil. And big boy pipe wrench. I can't remember where it hangs. <laughs> uh, let me put that up in a minute. But uh, I use that on these. These are what you use to get the free wheels off of a bicycle wheel. So I like to use that because it gives me plenty of leverage and a lot of weight as well. It is quite heavy. That's a nine. Missed the screw. <laughs> Another two ten mils. They're the ones you always lose. Must be battery doing, it's alright. Another Phillips up here with the screwdrivers. I'll need to go through all of them. Bloody random tools up here as well. Alright, let's go hang on there. Let's go up there. If that bulb was any good, it probably isn't now. I just dropped it on the floor. Nope, that has gone. I've only got two twin filament bulbs now. A ring spanner missing, I know that. They're my decent wire cutters. I've got several pairs of wire cutters missing from in here as well. Oh, actually, I know where they are. 
are actually in this toolbox. Alright, these are all my tyre levers, I don't need these at the minute. I'm not doing anything with tyres. Oh, that's the other thing I want to look for. I knew there was something else. Gear shifters for a racing bike. Because I'm thinking of moving them on the, uh, the Rally Alpha Sport. But I can't move those ones because in order to move it, I need to use uh, the outer stuff. Not that. Not the outer stuff. And I can't use that on that. On the current brake levers, uh, not brake levers, gear levers. That's created a bit more room up here at least. I mean rags, let's put the rags back under there. Right. I think I'm going to shut the video down here. Yeah, I'd rather have gear levers either on this bar or up here. Just so I haven't got to keep reaching down. And like I said, I can't. I can't do it on these levers, unfortunately. But I think I've got a different set in one of my drawers down there. So I've got to hoik all these out later. Anyway, I think this video's gone on for long enough. It's gone on for quite some time now, hasn't it? Right. Those bulbs can go in my back pocket. Should have. A red multimeter somewhere. I thought I brought it back in here, but obviously I haven't. Alright, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I will uh, talk to you all in the next one. Bye.